If you want to set up solid, reliable, WordPress-oriented web hosting where the technical aspects and the day-to-day -day management of your site is going to be taken care of for you, then sit right where you are because in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to set it all up. You know, there is plenty of web hosting available these days. The world is not in a web hosting shortage. It's really difficult even to know where to get started or how you can tell a good host apart from a not so good host. And you know, I've mentioned this in other tutorials, but I spent years and years, the better part of a decade to be honest, trying out different web hosting companies, trying to find the best web hosting for my projects and in turn for your projects and for other people's online businesses and online projects. And through all of this trial and error and all this expense and all this research, I've been able to boil it down to three web hosting companies that I can confidently recommend in my travels, wherever I go, whoever I talk to. And those three recommendations are Web Hosting Hub, SiteGround, and WP Engine. So depending on your website needs, depending on your business needs, depending on your online project needs, one of these three hosting companies is gonna be a perfect fit. Now in other tutorials, I go into a crazy amount of detail in terms of what to look for in a web hosting company, how and why I arrived at these three hosting companies that I recommend. I'm gonna forego all of that here. What I'll do instead is I'll take a bit of a shortcut and I'll simply leave some links for you down in the show notes below to some of those other tutorials. There's no point in rehashing all of that once again here. All I wanna do here in this tutorial is simply walk you through the process of setting up your web hosting with WP Engine. So if you're looking for solid, reliable hosting for your business or for your online project, again, where all the technical stuff is gonna be taken care of for you, then WP Engine is one of the best. However, if you're sitting there kind of scratching your head, not really knowing what kind of web hosting is a good fit for you and for your business and for your online projects, then be sure to check out some of those other tutorials that I've linked up to for you down below. Now, all of this can seem a little bit overwhelming. All of this can seem intimidating and maybe a little bit scary. So my entire goal here with you is to walk you step by step through the entire sign up and registration process with WP Engine. Now to go along with this video tutorial, by the way, I've set up a free online video course that you can check out over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. So go ahead and enroll in that course while it's still available on the website. Okay, I hope you're ready to go here. I hope you're ready to rock and roll. We're about to sign up with WP Engine. So grab yourself a coffee and get yourself nice and comfy and let's get to it. All right, are you ready to enroll with WP Engine with me? Great, then if you don't mind using my affiliate link, head over to 10tononline.com forward slash go forward slash WP Engine. And you know, using my affiliate link doesn't cost you any extra and it allows me to make sure that you are getting any discounts or promotions that WP Engine might be currently running. Plus it helps to keep the lights on and the coffee maker working over here, which is always a good thing. And you know, if you don't wanna use my affiliate link, that is just fine as well. Once we land on WP Engine's homepage, they have this exploding fireworks dust cloudy thing, which is kind of mesmerizing to watch. It's a little trance inducing if you watch it for too long, but we're here to sign up for some hosting. So let's go ahead and click on the orange get started button. On the page that appears, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see their three primary hosting plans, personal, professional, and business. And for big sites, there's a fourth plan custom. 
Now, which one you choose really depends on your needs and your requirements, but as you can see, their personal plan allows you to run just one website, one WordPress installation. The professional plan allows for up to 10. The personal plan allows for up to 25,000 monthly visits, while the professional plan allows for up to 100,000. Compare this to the business plan, up to 25 installations of WordPress and 400,000 monthly visits. The personal plan gives us 10 gigs of storage, which is enough for most websites, while the professional and business plans come with 20 gigs and 30 gigs respectively. So again, which plan you choose largely depends on your own needs and requirements, but I think for most of us, the personal plan will be just fine, even if we're using it to run a small or medium-sized business website. So for this demonstration anyway, that's the one that I'm gonna choose. Whichever one you think is right for you, go ahead and click on that plan's corresponding host my site button. On the page that loads, you can review your hosting plan and set some options. For instance, you can choose to subscribe annually and get two months for free if you do that, or you can simply pay monthly. I think here I'll simply choose monthly. Next, you can choose to host another website. You can add a second website to your hosting plan if you like. This is pretty cool if you want to be able to run more than one WordPress installation from a single hosting plan. Below that, you can add a CDN. That's a content delivery network to your account. I talk about CDNs in another tutorial, so I won't get into all of that here. And then beneath all of that, I can set up my account information. So... Through the magic of video editing, I'll speed things up here a little bit because I know it can be a little bit tedious to watch someone fill in all these fields. Now, below that, we have our billing information. If you're following me along, go ahead and insert all of your billing information. And once again, I will speed things up just a little bit here through some video editing. Okay, now... Once all of that is done, way over on the right, I can review what's going to happen. So I can see that I'm going to get one WordPress installation. I can see the maximum number of monthly visits, my storage space, the support, and so on. I can see also down at the bottom that I'm going to be billed $29. So if all of this sounds good, then head way down to the bottom left and make sure to place a check mark indicating that you've read their terms of service and privacy policy, not like anyone actually reads that stuff. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click on create my site. Now, when you click this button, the site creation process may take a few moments. So just sit tight for a second. Okay, once the next page loads, you'll be given an overview of your order and its status. Notice up at the top there, step one, account created, which is complete. Step two, building your site, which is in progress at the moment. And then finally, step three indicates that they'll send us an email once our website is ready to roll. And as for the rest of this page, you can review some of the information, your account details, your billing details, and so on. So that's basically that. Now, next, I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you some of the emails that WP Engine will send you and give you a quick tour of the customer account area. So this is the first email that you'll receive from WP Engine, welcome to WP Engine. You can read through it and play the video there if you like. There's some info in there about their support and so on. So this is the first email that you're gonna get. The next email that you'll receive is inviting you to the WP Engine portal. That's your customer area where you can manage your account and your website. So inside this email, go ahead and click on accept the invitation. That'll take you over to a page that asks you to set your account password. So go ahead and stick in a password and click set my password. This brings you into the WP Engine customer area. You'll be greeted with a message about site migration. That's if you wanna move an existing website over to WP Engine. And you know, I've used WP Engine's migration process in the past and it's really great. But for now, I'll just click in the background to close out of this message window. Okay, 
So what we're seeing now is your main dashboard. And as you can see, it's loaded with tons of info about your website and links to additional resources, reports, Google Analytics. There's all kinds of stuff here. Now, I think maybe in the future, I'll do a, a video tutorial that gives a more thorough tour of the dashboard and the overall customer area here on WP Engine. But for now, let me at least show you a few quick things. So this is the main dashboard. Up towards the top, we have our main navigation menu. There's dashboard installs where you're going to find info about your installation of WordPress. There's some additional handy options there. There's intelligence, which is also kind of handy. Users and then my account. And if I click on my account here, we can review our web hosting plan, change our payment information and contact information and so on. Now, next, as you may have pieced together for yourself, what WP Engine has been doing in the background all this time is getting our website set up for us. Specifically, they've been installing WordPress for us and getting it all set up. So let's take a look at our brand spanking new website and log into our site's WordPress admin area. So here back in my inbox, this is the next email that WP Engine sends us. If you're looking for it, it has the subject line, your WP Engine install is ready, migrate your site now. And this is what that email looks like. As you can see, we have some handy links for our site's temporary URL, the admin login, and so on. Below all of that, you'll find some additional helpful links and resources and support and so on. Okay, now back up towards the top, go ahead and click on your site's temporary URL. This is the URL that'll be used for your WP Engine hosted website until you point your domain to your hosting. And of course, that would be the next tutorial that you should watch how to point your domain name. So go ahead and click on this guy and your WP Engine website, your fresh installation of WordPress that they've just set up for you will open. And as you can see, this is a completely clean, fresh install of WordPress ready for action. If you want to log into your site's backend admin area, head back to your inbox and click on the next link, log into WP admin. And that brings us to the WordPress login screen. Go ahead and log in. So this is using the site name that you set up previously and the password that you set up previously as well. And once you're in, there it is. There's WordPress's dashboard, just like that. The admin area, whatever you want to call it, the back end of WordPress. And that's all there is to it. And of course, from here, we can start working on our site, working through the back end of the site, setting things up as we like, and so on. So congratulations, you're all signed up with WP Engine and ready to roll with a brand new installation of WordPress. Well, there you go. There are the steps for setting up web hosting with WP Engine. You saw the entire process from start to finish. I walked you through the whole thing. So hopefully you got everything set up on your side. Hopefully everything is functioning just dandy for you. Now, the next big question, what's next? You've set up your web hosting with WP Engine, so you know that you're in good hands as far as your hosting is concerned. What's next? Well. The next thing that you should do is you should point your domain to your WP Engine web hosting account. You can certainly tackle that. Another thing that you can do is set up your email for your, for your website as well. And of course, we can also start building your website, of course. So all this stuff I get into in some other tutorials. So once again, I'll link to that down below for you. You can check that out in the show notes. Before we take off here, before we close things up, make sure to go and grab your free online video course over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. Go ahead and enroll, and I'm sure you'll get lots and lots of value out of it. I put a ton of work into it and had lots of fun doing it, so I'm sure you'll enjoy. All right, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.